It was the first time most of these women had attended a trade fair. Though most of them operate only small backyard businesses, the quality of products they displayed made some of the best found in leading stores of both South Africa and Zimbabwe. Lona Rapo, a South African entrepreneur from Rustenburg, brought her unique beads to the exhibition. She makes these from melted glass and from there can decorate anything she sets her eyes on. Very excited um, because uh, this, this pro project, it's, it's very interesting. It's, uh, the, the, the more you're making beads, is the more you think of, of the styles, the colors, everything. Um, it's amazing. Dubbed the first of its kind, this cross-border trade fair likely featured products the women have made with their own hands. Farm produce, cultural attire and clothing dominated the stalls of South African women. Close to 300 Zimbabweans also crossed the border to showcase their products. Most of their stalls featured traditional foods, crafts and sculpture. With unemployment in Zimbabwe estimated by some to be above 80%, street vending has become the major source of income. Many South African women have also resorted to irregular, even desperate means to make a living. This Zimbabwean minister says rules that restrict street vending must be removed. Some have nothing left in broken for them to grow. Because I went through it, I know what I'm talking about. No wonder that for these women ministers, the success of this trade fair called for a celebration. The traders themselves were just as ready to sing and dance. Tusukumalo for VOA News, Messina.